What's up guys? Wesley Littlefield here with Wesley Littlefield's Wildlife. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to build the best jerk rig for the price. Actually, I think it's the best jerk rig, period. And it's really cheap, really simple, and it can hunt pretty much anywhere unless you got a rock bottom. So, stay tuned. So, this is really all you need. A little, short little piece of, this is half inch PVC pipe with the T. And I've glued them together and you'll see that as the video goes. And I, use, I like to use a butt up decoy. It's just kind of, it looks a little more natural, but I've got another decoy that I'll show you later in the video that is just a regular decoy. And they both work incredibly well for this jerk rig. Now, like I said, the one drawback is rock bottoms and I don't know what to tell y'all on a rock bottom unless you want to haul like a boat anchor, which I've done before, but I don't like carrying around a 10 pound boat anchor everywhere. So unless you're in a boat, that, I mean, that makes sense then. But um, this way I pack this in forever. I mean, shoot, it's light. I use paracord uh, for, the ro for the rope, obviously, or I've got, I ordered some of the decoy cord and I don't know how it's going to do. I've never used it before, but I really like the paracord using it. And I mean, that's really it. I'll, like I said, you'll see in the video that it's really simple to make, quick, easy, cheap, and it works great. Check this out. I'm going about waist deep water. Now I had, I've posted a video on Campus Waterfowl a long time ago on this. And I had questions like, how do you actually put it in the ground when it's, you know, without getting your arm wet? Well, it's actually really simple. You grab it two ends, you drop it in the water, and then you step on it. There it goes. All right, so we're set. Now I'm gonna show y'all the real magic. As you can see, this jerk rig puts out a ton of motion. And just with the little flip of the wrist, flip of the arm, and you've got a ton of motion that looks way more natural than other jerk rigs. And I think it actually puts out a little more motion on the water, makes your other decoys move more. And it's cheap, it's super cheap. And it's lightweight, easy to carry, easy to store. So you can't go wrong, it's the best, in my opinion. Maybe because I came up with a little bit of design or whatever, but I'm a little biased, I get it. But still, it doesn't take anything to make it. And it's the best, hands down, period. So. I also get a little quite a few questions about how to take it out and you know you're going to get your arm wet again well no you're not you're going to go find the other end of the rope you're going to take your decoy here and i see it right here let me grab it you're going to grab it both ends and you're going to pull up and there it is pulled out of the water and you can tell i kind of stuck it in the mud oh about six inches or so and it's I mean, it stuck. You saw how hard I was jerking on it. So it stuck just fine. Didn't have to worry about it. I love this jerk rig. Can't say that enough. If you're looking for a cheap, easy jerk rig, lightweight, this is the way to go. The only way to go, in my opinion. Hands down. The only time it really doesn't work, like I said earlier, was when it's a rocky bottom or a hard, hard bottom. So... I mean, I guess if you hunt a lot of that, it's not gonna work for you. But other than that, it's like, I don't even know how much it is. I borrowed this from my grandpa and stuff, so can't tell you exactly the prices, but I know PVC, especially half inch and a T, it's not gonna cost you but 10, 15 bucks tops. And you're probably gonna be able to make two or three of it, of them with it, honestly. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments below any adaptations that you think would work or that you want to see or think I should try, let me know. Thank y'all for watching and have a great day.